Hello, I'm Angie C, and this is A Hug in a Better Place. The book I'm going to be talking about today is The Silent History, and it has three authors, and they are Ellie Horowitz, Kevin Moffett, and Matthew Derby. I found this to be a really cool story. It really made me think about the depth of communication and language as a whole, because it provides a hypothetical situation of what if humans just lost language, like didn't have the ability to speak or understand words and how communication would be affected by that. So I was really interested in that. The style that it was written in, I found it to be really fragmented and hard to follow at the beginning, but once you got to know each speaker, then it became really interesting to see how their narratives interlinked. And I just found it to be a pretty original setup and frame. Uh, I really liked how it provided those different narratives so that you could see what the virus they began to call it and how that affected each person, I found it to be pretty much a story of the rise and fall of a new species and how different people reacted to it. I was kind of sad that we couldn't really see the perspective of the silence, those who actually lost language and couldn't speak like we did, but it was fascinating seeing them through other people's eyes. and realizing that they were communicating and that they did have their own language amongst them in a way. So that was a really cool story. And I really liked how at the end of the day, it's a really simple idea, just people who were born without the ability to speak. And I really appreciated the imaginative part of it and how it, it was pretty realistic. It was, I bought it and if, someone had presented me with this book years into the future and told me that this actually happened, I might believe them if I didn't do my research. Because the time frame that it's, the, the events that take place in the book take place in 2011 to 2040s, to the early 2040s, so it is pretty realistic. But all in all, it's a cool story. I would recommend it to those that are interested in the genre of dystopias or futuristic scenarios. And yeah. So thank you for listening to another episode of A Hug in a Better Place. And I will talk to you next time. Bye now.